Welcome to another Tableau video and unfortunately in this one I don't have my camera on. I've been having some technical issues but that is not going to stop us from doing some awesome Tableau tonight. So let's get into it. Let me show you first the question that has come in from a student. So Jonathan has um, looked at a video about maps but he has a very specific question which is he's got a list of start and end location so longitude and latitudes for stations and his goal is to make a density map showing all stations and i'll explain why this is not a simple thing when you first see this kind of problem um, since there is a start and end location for each trip i'm not sure how to best go about it should i combine them should i create a filter um, i also have two membership types i'd like and i'd love to somehow show both possibly via filter so let me show you, Jonathan, but also everyone out there, how you would solve such a problem. So let's start with uh, the data set. And actually, before I do that, I forgot to mention. So on the website, so Jellyman Education website, the link is in the description. If you go into the Tableau bundle, you will see in the intermediate section that there's a whole section on maps. All right, so if I go down here, where's I think it's the very last section. Yeah, this... This particular, the intermediate is like 10 hours, so it's really detailed. So here you get to do all the map stuff, right? So if you want to learn more about maps, be sure to check that out in the description below. All right, so let me show you the data set that we're working with. Uh, here we are. Okay. And here we have it. So we have some sort of route number, right? That's kind of like the unique identifier. And then we have the first station and the second. Now, these numbers are postcodes. Now, if you already have longitude and latitudes, this will still work, no problem at all. Um, but in this one, just to make it easier for myself, I just used postcode. And then I just allocated randomly a membership type for each row. Okay, so let's load this up as is, and let's see how it will actually work. Okay, da 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 all right, let's move that over, get rid of that. Okay, and let's bring it in. Okay, so I have my data set here, and the goal, remember, is to visualize both of these stations at the same time. So let's try and do it without doing any modifications. The first thing I'm gonna do is make sure that this is actually a postcode. So I can change the data type in here simply by clicking the data type symbol and we go zip code postcode. That's the first one done. And we do the same thing for the second one. Now Tableau is pretty smart. So if you called it postcode or something like that, it probably would already set it to a postcode format. Okay, but if it doesn't, you can do that. So if I wanted to visualize both of them at the same time, I suppose I can go maybe station one. Now these are um, American locations. So let's just make sure it's set to the United States. So United States there and go okay. All right, so here we are in America. Now I can go and duplicate the longitude. So I've got two of them now. And on the first one, I can have station one. On the second one, I can have station two, right? So I have them split up. And then I suppose I can dual access, and that's kind of one way to do it. But I would very much urge against this. Uh, it will make certain types of analysis very difficult to do because this is really not a nice way of doing it. It's really not nice. And I suppose if I had a question of like, um, all right, can you do an analysis on the whole thing, right? I want you to take a five kilometer distance from every point outwards. That's very hard to do because now you have to apply it to each dimension individually. So what we would rather do is bring both of those dimensions into one, into a single column, so that up here we only have one longitude, one latitude, and one um, level of detail, not level of detail, a detailed dimension here. So the first solution is simply go into Microsoft Excel and do it there. Don't do that because in the professional environment, the data is very rarely coming from an Excel document, all right, if you're working with big data sets. But if it is from Excel, um, it's not a very robust solution. So I wouldn't recommend just doing it manually. You know, maybe use something like Tableau Prep. And if you're interested in me doing something like that, feel free to drop a comment. 
um, but we're going to use the inbuilt functions in Tableau. So I'm going to clear all of this and then I'm going to go into edit data source. And in here, I'm going to pivot them. So if I highlight both of these, just holding control on the keyboard, I'm going to right click and go pivot. Now what this does is it kind of stacks them one underneath the other, right? So that Station one and station two are a single column. And then the actual name station one and station two becomes a brand new field. So let's go ahead and do that. And as you can see right away, I've got the stations in a single column and I've got the postcodes in a single column, right? Because we didn't select route and membership, that just stays as is. Okay. So now, very important let's label these let's call this station oops and let's call this postcode there you have it and we're going to set this data type to a postcode again okay so now if i wanted to do a map of postcode i can do it in just one click so if i go sheet one and i double click postcode it's all in there in the one thing. And if I ever wanted to separate between stations, I can just grab station and, you know, drop it into color, right? I can drop it into columns, right? I can do symbols for stations. I can bring them back together, right? So it's much easier to control this way. So it's really the argument between a pivot structure, which is sometimes useful, but more often than not, we need it in a table structure, okay? Um, and then I guess the last question he has was, how can he control the memberships? Well, the memberships is easy now in this case, because we can just bring this in, for example, into columns, and it will split it up by membership, right? Or I can change it and be like, let's do symbols for the station and then colors for the membership type, right? So you can do it that way. But my main point is, if you have it in a field structure like this, it is significantly easier. So hopefully this answers your question, Jonathan. Hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you at the next video.